Do you remember the hit television show Friends? Well, it was a hit because that's what everybody wants. They want friends. You want friends. I want friends. Friendship is sharing, and we enjoy sharing life's experiences. We enjoy sharing our interests in business, in our hobbies, in art, in spiritual matters. If through change, at any time in our lives, we find ourselves without friends, let us determine to express such a warmth of goodwill that we will attract people who have our own interests, like uh, things that we're interested in. I remember a lady that moved to a new state to accept a new job, and she didn't have any friends there at all. And we would talk on the phone, and she would do some of the things that I'm encouraging you to do now. And pretty soon, she had more friends than she had ever had in her life. Well, you can too. Let us determine that we express such a warmth of goodwill that we attract persons from all around us. Undoubtedly, many of the persons we see or contact frequently, you know what? They're seeking friends just like we are. Let us let our Christ light shine so that we can be a friend first. The very need in our life for new friendship is an assurance that we have something special to share. As we pray to be a friend, such as we would like to have, we shall find many new opportunities for friendship arise. Right now, people are waiting for us to express interest in them. They're craving it. They're starved for it. And they, in turn, will express interest in us and be appreciative of our friendship. In the Bible, in John 15, verse 15, it says, I have called you friends. Well, it is one of the greatest things in the world to say, hello, friend, to, to know that that person is a person of like mind, a person that you'd like to spend more time with, and they'd like to spend more time with you. I pray that you radiate a friendly spirit as the Christ light shines through you to attract new friends and to be a friend to others.